big car you have in front of you, which is uh, our streamliner. It's uh, developed in the US with the Ohio State University. Um, this is the streamliner VBB 2.5, who has set up the first land speed uh, record with a fully electric car. Uh, coming to you from Ohio State University, I'm a graduate student in mechanical engineering there and manage uh, the land speed program alongside Venturi. Um, in 2009, we found a great partnership with Venturi to work on a new program. Uh, so at first, it, it sounded kind of strange to us. You know, we, we've done these things for a lot of years, we say to go to France and look for technology. Uh, but as we came to know Venturi, we understood that they were a very passionate company about moving forward uh, with the electric automobile. Um, so they had uh, great capabilities and vision in what could be the electric future. So they, they served to be a great partner for us as we dreamed even bigger with our land speed vehicles. Uh, we've done a variety of vehicles with nickel metal hydride power, um, hydrogen fuel cell power, and into the lithium area, and all with the target of going over 300 miles per hour. Uh, but we set forward in 2009 with a new challenge to be the first electric car over 400 miles per hour. If you think about what's under the skin for a moment, um, each of these components is pushing the technologies to, of tomorrow in energy storage, battery development, uh, electric motors, electric control, uh, advanced powertrain controls. These are all you know, things that we uh, test heavily in the labs and repeatedly. Uh, we always say it's not until you see how things fail that you can make them better. Um, so we understand. It's about 38 feet uh, for the full body work plane. The shell is all carbon fiber, uh, what you see before you. There's actually a steel space frame chassis underneath um, that houses the, the cockpit, the batteries, and the powertrain. Two different braking systems. The predominant braking system at Bonneville for high-speed cars is parachutes. Um, but if there are two things that cause serious incidents at Bonneville very quickly, it's failure of parachutes and failure of tires. Um, so one of our you know, core principles from the ground up is safety first. Uh, we never make compromises to the design uh, when, it, when safety comes into play. Uh, so we worked on a redundant system in addition to the parachutes. Uh, we worked with the aircraft industry, and we actually have carbon-carbon uh, disks uh, right from a regional jet. Um, so it, as it turns out, the energy required to stop this vehicle uh, is very, very similar to that of a re rejected takeoff from an Embraer 145. The tires are very special. Um, they're uh, from Mickey Thompson and one of the only options available for speeds over 300 miles per hour at Bonneville. Um, a lot of, a lot of work in the tire design uh, with Mickey Thompson. It's an extremely lightweight tire, um, so as you can imagine, you want to get rid of all the mass you can at, at the largest diameters. Uh, the tires are actually ripping themselves apart constantly. Um, uh, we see about an inch and a half of growth on the diameter of the tire during a run. We want first to show cars are efficient, then to apply technology which are developed in a very special field to road cars. To bring that technology to road cars. This is the key point of the story. Teach people that it works and bring technology to, to, to that people. Because you know that the story of automobile is that.